Hello, all you beautiful souls. Welcome back, Itan. And how are you Hello. doing today? Absolutely excellent. Looking for today's session. Quite a unique topic there. But still spacing out on these backgrounds here, huh? Absolutely. <laughs> Some beautiful northern lights combined that energy into this. We are going to today be debunking myths and myths about superfoods with facts and fiction. Stay tuned right to the very end because this is going to be jam-packed full of awesome information that you should know because you should be having what we're showing you now. Stay tuned and we'll see you there. Thank you for being with us once again. Etan, tell me about the beautiful energy of a superfood and what exactly is a superfood. We always say that it's nutrient dense and it's concentrated nutrients, nutrient dense, right? That's what it is. And um, that's simple as it put, uh, simply put, uh, really it's a regular fruit or vegetable that just grows normally, but it's just more concentrated with many different types of nutrients. An example is um, hemp seed powder. Um, you, you've got sea buckthorn powder. I mean, coconuts powder is even very nutrient dense, very good electrolytes, etc. inside there. But um, yeah, so many other products out there like goji berries. So um, berries seen as an antioxidant and what have you. So it's not a super food, but it's super antioxidative, you know, blueberry. Um, so we consider those kinds of things combined with the superfoods as creating a nutrient-dense, healthy living body and organism. That's what we pile it up with. Absolutely awesome. So this wonderful superfood that you see here behind my screen, that's acai powder. If you want to check out that video, then make sure to stay tuned right to the very end. And of course, come and check out our YouTube page right here. We did a video for you on acai and why acai is life. So this is a video about why do superfoods matter? If you guys want to know more about superfoods, then make sure you are subscribed to Synergy Organics right there, right now. And we'll leave the link pinned down in the comments below of this video for you. We have been speaking about a number of superfoods for years and years and years. We've been in this business for now more than 18 years, actually, this year. Uh, if we really look at the the point at which Inception was conceived with Synergy Organics, our little Chi Chi girl, bless her beautiful soul, she was right there at the start with us. So the one most beautiful thing about superfoods that we need to realize is that there are going to be all kinds of uh, fud, noise, sounds, whatever, echoes of lack of brilliance and if you want to make sure that you're getting the most up-to-date knowledge then you need to be part of our community right here with Synergy Organics the supplier of organic superfoods right here in South Africa check out our articles this is what you should be eating you're going to feel wonderful when you decide on how it is that you want to choose the way your superfoods interact with you with all of these benefits so Let's dive right into exactly what the facts and the fiction are about superfoods. Etan, could you describe one of the kind of fictional things that you may have heard about superfoods that really isn't real? Um, okay, yeah, well, I mean, this is the problem society has at large, but the first thing that comes to mind is, hey, fruits, oh my gosh, don't eat them because they're going to feed your cancers and whatever you know. Um, uh, fruits play an important role in glucose, fructose, and everything else. Sucrose, um, good for brain development and what have you. And taking that fruit and air drying it in natural ways and refining it into a powder, you're still getting the same, the same quality. And in some instances, better quality, like strawberries, um, are well known to have far more antioxidative properties when you thinly slice them, um, low bake them in the oven for like up to four hours, and then you get like a nice little gummy treat out of it. It's delicious. But the, 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 the antioxidative properties in there are further increased. 
So uh, this just keep that in the back of your mind. But yeah, just in terms of superfoods and the powders, um, yeah, I mean the the fiction behind that is oh, it's a sugar. So I get the fact that superfood industry does dilute their product with refined sugars, but you have to identify the difference. Okay, so the fiction is okay, um, uh, uh, fruit is sugar. No, it's not. The fact is, it's glucose, fructose, fibers, sucrose, etc., that are really vital for the body. And God gave that to us in order to nourish our body. He wouldn't poison us. Okay. Then you move on to uh, yeah the other sugar, the refined sugar, and that's got the whiteness, and you know it's uh, it's it's chemically processed in so many different ways and then that sugar is added into a superfood powder um as an example so yes um fiction is the reality of superfoods because a lot of the superfood suppliers have reliable sources of it but you do have to keep an eye out on that as well so that's just a hot topic for me just the sugar spot kiara how about you I 100 percent agree with you that, and here you can see here. So there's some quite a few videos etc going out. But if you consume too much sugar, uh, fructose comes from fruit. So, um, but this is the extracted fruit fructose, not the entire fruit itself. If you have the entire fruit, you will have the fiber, which helps to process that sugar into energy in your body, and that's why fruit hydrates you, nourishes you, gives you fiber, help, is light on your body, has vitamins and minerals, and a whole lot more. So fructose, this natural fructose from, um, from fruit would actually turn into glucose in the body, which would essentially feed our brain energy, okay? And the thing, the difference between that and say, for example, like Etan said, is white sugar, these are additives in foods which essentially cause a fatty liver, a fatty, a fatty liver, and that then starts to cause things like diabetes and fatty liver disease, and and, and it essentially erodes. And if you look at it, it's like rust on your organs and your your body's vascular and arterial systems. And this is the thing, is that. Sugar is, sugar is undoubtedly dangerous, but when you eat the right sugars, they can be absolutely beneficial. So we'll touch base on a couple of things. We know already what superfoods are, because if you are part of this community already, you would know what superfoods are by watching our content. So let's just go and have a look at some typical superfoods. You can see them uh, throughout the ranges that we have. We have blended superfoods. We have all kinds of different superfoods from goji berries to sea buckthorn. We import superfoods from across the world. We find superfoods locally. We blend and mix. And we essentially are bringing an ultimate platter of health right to your very doorstep. Literally delivered straight off of our website so check the links down below for that and you can get yourself up to 15 percent off on your first online order if you have not yet ordered from us and by the way if you're part of the community and you do already shop online with us at synergy and you've already claimed your 15 percent let us know if you would love to to get a subscription model where you can obtain further more beneficial discounts therefore getting more superfoods into your life let us know down in the comments below we would love to know what our community would like blueberries kale goji berries chia seeds maca spirulina citrus fruits i see cacao not cocoa ginger garlic flax seeds garlic is a very is a very touchy subject we could literally write a novel about garlic but the truth and simple about garlic is the main active ingredient in garlic is called alum or aluminium. And that is the chemical name of that active in garlic. And that is very, it's very good to help with uh, moment, momentarily used to help fight off viral and, and, and fungal infections and bacterial infections in the body. So it's used as a medicine, not as a food. Okay. But you do get benefits from it in the moment and used modestly. 
flax seeds, chia seeds, chili peppers, especially cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper is your number one chili there, right? Pomegranates, wheat grasses, turmeric, green tea, salmon, avocado, cruciferous vegetables, beets, and a whole lot more. If you are a plant-based individual and you want to check out our meal plan right here, we've got a meal plan for plant-based, vegetarians, and omnivores. So we call that classic because that is just the classic way that our standard population uh, eats. But ancient civilizations eat whole foods and plant-based. It's as simple as that. If you want to know more about that, come check out our channel. We have so many videos there to share with you about that. So one thing that we would personally replace if you are a vegan is undoubtedly and most definitely hemp hearts. And hemp hearts are the number one omega three, six, and nine in a three to one, one ratio, which is perfectly balanced for the human uh, body. Now, any mammal could eat that and get very, very perfect omega three fatty acid contents, which would essentially replace your unhealthy fats with your healthy fats. These are hemp parts. You can see that they are delicious. 250 grams will get you quite a long way. Check it out on our website. You're going to have a lot of fun with that. So now, Etan, I'd like to, I'd like to share with, uh, I'd like to ask you, you know, we shared a few facts about superfoods. What do you believe are the facts for, uh, or the myths or other myths around superfoods? Can you give me one or two other myths that, that you potentially could see from, from the market? Uh, yeah, I mean, fake, fake, fake powders, fake foods, fake, um, you know, so it's like rice powder or lime powder that's used as a filler and what have you. But it's really important to do your own test, but you're not really going to do a test if you're just purchasing superfoods for the first time off the shelf, you know? Those tests cost money and time. Um, yeah, so that's a big part of it. Um, another myth about uh superfoods sure I'm, I'm at a loss because uh we talk about it so positively and highly i must say all the time um yeah there's fallacies around it uh you know where people think that they're getting a food so it's a placebo effect um but the reality is what it is i mean as the example i'm gonna i'm gonna fast at the moment and i've taken like a superfood tonic and because my body's clean and it doesn't it doesn't have any distractions in it um i can feel the energy of the superfoods running through my body and bloodstream and that's highly beneficial and highly awesome i think that's an amazing thing to feel that rush of energy come through something so it's like a red bull but uh, nature's red bull so yeah i mean the actual myth and the actual fallacy is that it doesn't heal and it doesn't do its uh, uh, nutritive responsibilities um, in the body but the fa fact is the fact and the myth is uh, very quickly being crushed superfoods are what they are for a reason they are super in their food like manner <laughs> so yeah debunked and all the rest a lot of other myths do you have well yes Etan. so i, I want to touch base on exactly what you've just said so uh, what day? Just tell the, the community what day you're in of your fast now, please. I'm um, into my fourth day. I'm doing 30 days of a liquid fast. The liquid fast consists of various different teas, but um, that's to keep the body nourished, cleanse the body, re replenish, and all the rest. So, yeah, I have a very specific protocol I'm going to be doing, but life's going to be normal for me. I'm going to be doing gym, I'm going to be sun gazing, I'm going to be sun tanning. Um, these are important things during fasts. So community, if you're interested in doing intermittent fasting, one day fasting, three day fasting, 10 day, maybe you're going to join me for my 30 day fast. Yo. Contact us today and find out more. Oh, I got an idea there for us then on the, on the basis of what you've just said. How about we do a series of videos, three part series videos, because actually community, there are thousands of ways to fast. And I'm going to share something with you in a moment. But Etan, how about we do a series of fasting videos for the community going forward? And we look at intermittent fasting, um, dry fasting, and water or liquid-based fasting. 
slash smoothie based fasting um, and you know the technical the technical way that we look at fasting is essentially that your blood glucose level should not spike above a hundred points okay which is literally means you shouldn't be eating anything okay even just a very small amount of sugar would bounce your glucose level above that 100 marker and obviously fasting helps to get rid of that so we will do a video and if you want to see more about that it's on what do you think let us know down in the comments below i would love that lots to chat about there always and it's becoming more and more popular exactly so one of the myths is Clean eating is the ultimate path to health. But this isn't a myth, okay? Debunking the myth. And I just want to say to you that you can see here, the most important thing is actually a well-rounded, well-balanced way of eating. What makes you feel good and what makes me feel good are going to be two completely very different things. So it's important to listen to your own body. And the way that you listen to your own body is by feeling what happens to your body when you put something past these little lips here when you put something past them that is what happens so if i have a nice gigantic cup of green tea and i start to get jittery and quivery then you shouldn't be having green tea or you should water it down or add another ingredient to help balance your sugar level a touch of honey in this instance would be absolutely extraordinary now to cut to the short and curly of this, really, when we're eating a well-rounded, well-balanced, and well-balanced, as I said, is good for yourself. It's not good for what's good for anybody else but yourself. So when you're cooking meals with your family and your loved ones, it's all well and everything, trying to all eat the same thing, get around the table and have the same thing. But if, if whatever, if if your uncle is a carnivore and you're a plant and you're a planty like you're not going to be able to eat the same thing you're not going to be able to cook the same food unless you're okay with that and happy with that therefore you need to stand loud and proud in your own ways and in your own self to find what is good for yourself not what is good for other people so don't allow other people to influence the way that you eat because the way that you eat and the truth of the saying you are what you eat is absolutely and undoubtedly the truth. So Etan, we've obviously spoken quite a chunk about the factual evidence that superfoods bring. Now, we ourselves and a lot of our team and people that we work with, patients, doctors, that we've also assisted their patients and helped the journey, we have helped so many people go through a healing process and i guess we could say that in our own work that we have absolutely debunked all of the myths about superfoods and we have built an a very beautiful business on superfoods so can you tell us and share some of the responses that some of your um, patients slash community that you have helped treat what are some of their testimonials to, to you? Like, tell us a little bit about what they say about superfoods, please. So many different things. And a lot of the time, it's um, you know, the testimonials come by accident, not because the clients are seeking it. So it's somebody off the shelf taking a green tea. And, um, you know, two weeks later, they're saying to us, hey, my gosh, my arthritis is a lot better because I, I'm a lot more mobile and there's no pain and I'm more flexible. Um, that's just what I've noticed. So uh, that um, increase, that's been a special one hour, one intelligent protein uh, product, um, increased an athlete's performance by 25%. In other words, their timing on whatever, the one kilometer or the 10 kilometers that they ran was 25% better. And that is a massive amount. That's a quarter, um, uh, you know, so the performance really increases as well. Um, there's various documentaries out there, The Game Changer being one of them, um, about plant-based and all the rest. They don't touch on superfoods at all in there, not by any means, not at all. So 
you can imagine those people that are doing um, the, the world um, the, the world's strongest man is plant based that's the example so all superfoods are plants and that's incredible and yeah you just got to identify the reality of it you know it's it's exciting to see the superfood industry come into play but superfoods play a very special role in our bodies and cleansing so we've seen that over the year with our customers we've mixed various different products together even from other sister companies we like to call them because they they're really um, on a similar path of natural products and healing etc and we can gain access to that community of products as well within our business community so we we assist people with claudia silver mms and things that we don't even um on sell ourselves you know put into our brand but we believe in it so much so um we talk about superfoods just being generalized and and conceptualized into a powder um but it goes a lot deeper than that and kira i believe that this is going to be one of our topics is um Let's stop calling ourselves plant-based or vegan and we're still eating chips and fast food and whatever and start to call ourselves purists because it that word itself holds you accountable does it not it says okay whatever's entering my body needs to be of purity and that I won't accept chemicals I won't accept um, uh, fumes I won't accept cell phone towers etc so I accept superfoods into my life definitely for sure and that's just a level of which we're at but it doesn't necessarily mean somebody else is at so where do you want to be community um on your journey to um healing or on your journey of health and wellness um as a general perspective um yeah me doing a liquid fast i want to end off by saying the hemp parts are there so i'm talking about a liquid fast what i'm going to do there is i'm going to get a um a, a cheese strainer so a, a milk strainer and I'm going to make my hemp milk and I'm going to drink the milk uh, throughout the course of the day like one full liter of it I'm going to make it and it's going to give me so much power during the course of the day and nutrients and benefits etc 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 but I've removed the fiber now so it's um my body's not taxed it doesn't need to um um use all of that energy to digest whatever it is this digesting so yeah lots of testimonials kiara i know you've got it as well but you know looping around to um you know the myth side of things and debunking myths how, how do you see superfoods um playing in like let's give a character here in somebody's life Oh no, I don't believe in superfoods. I take my whey protein. That stuff is cuck. It's plants and whatever. How do you deal with a conversation like that? I mean, somebody has their own right to go. Okay, that's your opinion. Um, but the facts are the facts. The nutrients are there. Uh, yeah, I, you and, you just answered the question. The facts are the facts, and there's nothing more to it. So. Do your own research on whey protein and hemp protein and see what the difference is there. You can check it out on our website. Hemp protein is just a more well-rounded, full, complete protein is what the, the science, scientific word behind that is. But really and, and truly, you shouldn't even be comparing to whey protein because all these other, proce all these other proteins, um, like our hemp protein as an example, it isn't processed in a way that uses chemical treatment or exposes it to toxins or any of those kinds of sorts of things. Now, shifting on to how toxins, Eton is going through a fast, like you said, is that an extreme? No, to some of you, it may be an extreme, but to others, you need to do fast, especially if you're sickly. If you are, if you have some sort of cancer or some sort of disease, disease like that, you need to take the most extreme steps that you can to counter and slow the growth down of that, um, the spread of that cancer. And the only way to do that is to take discipline and keep consistency with yourself so that when you do want to get the, the body rid of toxins, because that's how it formed, whether it's emotional toxicity, physical toxicity, or environmental toxicity, or mental toxicity, or physiological toxicity, it doesn't matter. The point is, is that you need to detox yourself of any of those and hence you need to be able to do work in all five of those specific main categories of detoxing because if you don't 
you're out of you're imbalanced on one of those components and life is about balance is what we're busy saying busy saying here so the most important thing that you just need to know is that there are a number of superfoods that you can eat blueberries blueberries uh, goji berries bananas strawberries sunflower seeds pumpkin seeds dark chocolate coffee or green tea these things and actually kiwi has been known to be one of the most powerful detoxes on this planet because of the hydration and the nutritional qualities that are in kiwi it has a very very high antioxidant value and there are a number of other superfoods now this is one of the other balancing acts that we need to have is you need to be able to find your your food in a seasonal manner and you need to eat your food seasonally superfoods don't work like that superfoods work where you come to us and you buy your packet of superfoods that we've procured from our wonderful farmers across the world and we put them in packets just to give you there's no extra processing there's no fillers no additional ingredients and this is what makes um, using superfoods and all year round additive if you don't actually know how to eat season you can just chow superfoods and the reason you want to do that is because superfoods and these are superfoods in this whole section here are the number one reason that you will find the benefit of the way that superfoods actually work and they they have um, massive massive benefits and there are websites that will try to counter that but the power of superfoods are within the evidence on the individual superfood superfood is just a category of a collection of all of them so yes one individual superfood isn't the go-to all cure everything however a combination of the superfoods used in the right way can become the wonderful way forward for the optimal health that you deserve for yourself and your families you need to know the truth and you need to be able to debunk your own nutritional myths do your own research and if you can't find information that has similarities between one another okay because high fat foods are actually very healthy for you as we already know if you've seen our videos we speak about this the best thing that you could do for yourself is to actually take your life into your hands connect with us down below in our community and let us know what it is that you're facing or don't know or would like to know about superfoods and how you can become a vibrant blessed healthy happy soul etan please share with us lastly share with us lastly your thoughts your last thoughts on debunking myths and obviously using facts to destroy fiction in the superfood space yeah i think that's the, that's a, a clever response there because uh, you know because there's something called cognitive dissonance taking it to an extreme where somebody doesn't actually believe the truth that's in front of them so uh, that's the example I was using earlier where somebody believes that whey protein might be better than superfoods and that's okay because that's a mindset that's been learned. So actually the myth is the mindset and we need to get over the mindset. In other words, we need to be more explorative. We need to be more open to trying new things and um, you know, exploring the information behind that enough to make a educated decision on not go hey superfoods don't have anything and you don't know a thing about it you know it's like me going to go tell um, a mechanic how to fix my car <laughs> you know it just it doesn't work so yeah the myths facts realities they're all mixed into that kind of conversation but really want to thank the community for being here sharing this time with us today and please tell us what you think other myths and facts are around synergy that we haven't covered yet today thanks Kiara for the time hey eh? many blessings to you all thank you to you too Etan and appreciate you watching this video right here right now make sure to hit that notification bell so that you know when the next one comes out because we'll be speaking about fasting we love you take care thank you Etan and we'll see you on the next one you bless the beautiful souls Thank you.